So let's start our discussion of database marketing strategies with a look at techniques, tools, and tactics associated with database marketing. Every time I talk about strategy and marketing strategy, I always try to make sure that we remember some of the key principles. And, and these principles hold true not only for database marketing, but for all marketing strategies. Um, but it turns out that once you make the decision to become a database driven marketer, everything changes. Some of it doesn't change as much as others, but everything changes. But let's start with the principles. The strategist must have an intimate knowledge of what happens on the battlefield. So if you're going to become a strategic database marketer, you have to understand the different tools, tactics, and techniques available for database marketers. It's absolutely essential that you know what tools are at your disposable, how the game has changed from traditional marketing, and what you need to do to be successful. Second, famous George Patton, General George Patton from World War II, one of his famous quotes, one tries to make plans fit the circumstances. Of course, what this means is that it, when, in a, from a database marketing perspective, as database marketing evolves and becomes more sophisticated, we need to make sure our plans stay up to date and fit those circumstances. In addition, we need to understand that no two firms should implement the same database marketing strategies. We're going to talk a little bit later on in the course about different casinos and their approaches to database marketing. Uh, some are highly successful and some are not very successful. Some try to emulate what others are doing and some have struck out on their own. Some examples in this particular situation would be Boyd Gaming and Stations Casinos, which are more locally driven uh, casino businesses. And then, of course, Caesars Entertainment and MGM Resorts, which are more tourism based uh, casino companies. Of course, the uh, Caesars Entertainment has the um, has the um, um, the rewards there, there's is there. They have their rewards card, and of course, MGM Grand has struggled to implement a successful strategy around their M Life card. But we'll talk about why that has been the case and what they might do to um, to do a better job with it. So, for good strategy implementation, a couple of things are very crucial. At any one point in time, one objective should dominate the company's strategic plan. I've been around lots of companies who have five of, uh, company objectives or five goals or five initiatives. And the problem is, is that while these initiatives might not look like they are um, um, in competition with each other, often um, the ability to maximize um, the efforts and success in one area will not be the same strategies that you would use if you were trying to maximize the initiatives, goals, or objectives in another area. And then finally, a good marketing strategy is one that anticipates the competition's counterattack. And that's especially true with database marketing. As you go through, as you become a good database marketer, you have to understand that when you do something, uh, the competition is very likely to respond. And the, and the question then is, what do I do when that happens? Okay, so let's start off with this notion that there are only three marketing strategies that really help to grow a business. Now, we can talk about more specific um, uh, tactics and more specific strategies, but there are really three ways that you, you, that you can grow your business. You can increase the number of customers. Of course, that's an acquisition and retention um, part of a of a of a database marketing plan, right? So I can try to increase the number of customers. I can do that lots of ways. I can add new stores. Think about Starbucks. Starbucks has seems seems like they have a saturation of franchises. Well, some of that has to do with keeping competition out, but other parts of it has to do with the idea of increasing the number of customers 
um, both from an acquisition standpoint and a retention standpoint. Second, you can increase the average transaction amount. So given any set of customers, if I can increase the average amount that they spend when they when they uh, make a transaction with my organization, my firm, my store, whatever it might be, if I can increase the average transaction amount, of course, I increase um, uh, my the size of my business. And of course, in database marketing, we would like to refer to that as increasing spending. Right. And then and then third is we increase the frequency of repurchase. That is, we increase the frequency in which a person makes those purchases. So if you if you don't spend more money on each transaction, maybe I can get you to have more transactions. And so instead of stopping and getting a Starbucks on Monday, Wednesday and Friday, I get you to come by and get a Starbucks on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And maybe even stop by on Saturday morning and get a little something. All right, these are the three basic marketing strategies that individual organizations use to grow their business. Now, database marketing is not really about completely different strategies because these are th these are three things that you would do with database marketing just like you would with general marketing. It is about better ways to execute these general marketing strategies. So it's not that we wouldn't try to do the same things. Database marketing gives us a different set of tactics, tools, and techniques to make these three things happen. So let's talk a little bit about increasing the number of profitable customers. Well, of course, there's relationship building, right? And the idea behind relationship building is we get people to, uh, we, you know, we do financial, social, and social bonding. And of course, the whole point behind that is to do what? Increase spending, increase share of customer, increase share of wallet, and, and to also um, increase things like referrals. And that includes retention strategies. How do I retain customers? Of course, remember we talked about the sorts of things that help us to, to retain more customers. Two of those critical, critical aspects are trust, and satisfaction. Remember, we talked bo about both of those in some detail. Uh, acquisition might be a way, you know, the more customers we acquire and the better customers we acquire, the more uh, the more likely it is that we're going to have uh, more customers at the end of this, and so we'll have more profitable customers. Now, the idea behind acquisition is a different is a different approach when we are database marketers as opposed to just general marketers because we have more information about who our best customers are and what they look like. And so the first thing we might do would be to profile those customers, that is really learn about them and what they like, what they don't like and what they look like, and then go in and try to clone them. Okay, and of course, cloning is the notion of, of trying to create more customers that look just like the most profitable ones we have now. Another way to get more customers might be list management, list rentals, um, using internal lists, sharing lists across um, across um, uh, parts of the organization, all those sorts of things. And then finally, positive word of mouth and referrals. Well, what about increasing spending? Well, one of the ways that we might increase spending is we might segment our customers, right? And of course, the idea behind segmenting customers is that we give different kinds of offers to different customers. Uh, one of the things that we're going to talk about a little bit later on is are things like frequency programs and this notion then of, you can see it second from the bottom, upward migration. We need to be thinking about relationship building. We need to be thinking about making more relevant direct marketing offers. We need to be thinking about upselling. When I get you to be interested in a product, maybe I can upsell you to the next best model or maybe the model or even above that model. And then, of course, there's this issue of cross-selling. You know, you can't buy a brand new barbecue grill without buying the charcoal, without buying the wood chips, without buying the other kinds of spices that might come with that. Uh, and without the utensils to be able to grill on that brand new barbecue grill. Uh, another way to increase spending is bundling. You know, and of course, we, we refer to that as the McDonald's value meal strategy, where you bundle together high and low margin items. And we'll talk about that. We need, to, we need to think about the next most likely purchase. Amazon is very famous for this. People who bought this also bought that. 
We've talked a little bit about upward migration, but then we also need to be thinking about frequency programs, also referred to as rewards programs, right? Or sometimes referred to as loyalty programs. What about increasing purchase frequency? Once again, some of the same things, segmentation relationship building, making relevant purchase offers, more and more direct marketing offers, uh, you know, thinking about the next most likely purchase, cross-selling, frequency programs, and, of course, perhaps impulse email offers. The basics of database marketing, database marketing strategies is learning about your customers. Since you have individual level purchase data, you have the ability to learn more about your customers by doing some modeling, profiling, and exploration of your current customers within your own database. And so your database becomes an asset. It also becomes a marketing research tool. All right, and of course, the idea behind using that database then is you want to build relationships with customers to increase spending and retention. Which customers do you want to focus on? Those with the most profit potential in, uh, going forward. You want to provide more relevant marketing communications. You want to turn customers off in a hurry? Email, spam them. You know, and, and all of us have done this where we have signed up for, um, uh, for email um, um, offers or email communications and then after about about a week or so of that we end up unsubscribing because the the communications aren't really relevant another way to do this is to improve service both in terms of level of service and service errors another approach to basic uses of a database is to come up with a direct marketing model that is making relevant offers based on previous purchases previous preferences, and other factors that might be driving purchase. And I'll give you an example a little bit later on. We do a little bit of modeling of, um, of, the, of um, what's, what we like to refer to as the famous, um, the famous General Motors um, uh, approach to trying to sell OnStar. And how um, a colleague of mine and myself almost became the OnStar experts for um, for General Motors. Uh, uh, as it turns out, it was probably a good thing that that didn't happen. Uh, and then finally, to improve the effectiveness of customer acquisitions, that is, figuring out who it is we should try to acquire. If we're going to spend money trying to acquire customers, let's make sure that we try to acquire the most potentially profitable customers around. All right. So if you think about these four, if you think about that, those, those different um, uh, approaches to uh, to marketing strategies and, and, and uses of the database, you come down to four basic approaches on how to use a marketing database to become a more effective, more efficient and more profitable organization. OK, and and. I over time, I have um, I have modified this um, this this uh, approach. The, these approaches and uh, and talk to different groups about them in different ways. I'm pretty comfortable with these four approaches to database marketing. One is to think about database marketing and use that CRM model. Now, the benefit of our class is that we've already talked about CRM, customer relationship management. We've talked about building relationships with customers. We talked about why that's important. So you have a fairly um, um, solid foundation for the CRM approach to using a database. But we need to be also talking about the other ways that you use a database to make money. The second approach is what I like to refer to as the direct marketing approach. This is one that Caesars Entertainment is famous for. That is, they are constantly making offers to gamblers who frequent their other establishments around the country to come out and spend a weekend or a week or two weeks or a holiday in Las Vegas. And so they make direct marketing offers to them all the time. If you think about, uh, about most, of the, most of the emails that you get from companies, they are direct marketing offers. That is, they are a specific offer sent to you to try to convince you to buy a specific product. 
or a specific group of products. And so when we think about the direct marketing approach to database marketing, many, many firms, Caesars Entertainment is a really good example. Uh, other examples include um, Stations Casinos and Boyd Gaming that use a direct marketing approach to making their database more profitable. Lots and lots of companies use this approach. Uh, the third approach is the customer service model approach. Now, we've talked about this early on in the course, and, and, and you understand the whole idea of using your database to provide the best service possible for your customers. Um, you know, everything from knowing whether or not your airline customers want a window or aisle seat down to making sure that, uh, that complaints are resolved quickly and fairly down to understanding which customers should get the most service. And then finally, it's the analytics modeling approach. That is taking your database and using it as a marketing research tool. That is learning more and more and more about your customers, using that information to become more effective and more efficient marketers. So these are the four basic ways that you might use a database. And so I call them the four, the four database marketing approaches to doing business. Now, a couple of things about